Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Big news on Bernie Sanders. You heard? Oh my God, he's going for he's going for medical debt. Eliminate medical debt in America. Holy shit! Fucking crazy shit, man. <laughs> fucking Bernie Sanders. Let's salute the man, the myth, the legend, Bernie Sanders. So what is Bernie Sanders talking about? He wants to eliminate all medical debt in this country. There's a half a million people every year in, in America that go bankrupt because they can't pay their medical bills. They get sick, they go bankrupt, and then the bank comes in because they're sick, and they come in and take the fucking house. I, it's crazy, man. It's some crazy fucking shit. So let's hear Bernie Sanders say it in his own words. Democrats do a great job when it comes to social issues, but when it really comes to universities to which there we go. and universities tuition free. We should make public colleges and universities tuition free. To guarantee health care as a human right, not a privilege. If we're gonna bring about real change in this country, that means Health care to all people. In another piece of legislation that we're going to be offering, we will eliminate medical debt in this country. Hmm, well for Enter cunt face. First it was free college, then it was free health care, and now 2020 Democrat Bernie Sanders plans to end all medical debt. Joining us now to react is former social justice director for Bernie Sanders' 2016 campaign, Teslin Figaro. Teslin, welcome as always. Good morning. So nothing is free. Somebody has to pay for that. Does Bernie Sanders free? Nothing is free. Somebody has to pay for it. Free stuff. Ready? Here comes the smear. The free, free. I think you know that's about it from you. Free, Miss Cunt Face. Free, Cunt Face. Uh, so here's Bernie Sanders in his own words. Let's hear him explain a little more about this wonderful deal a deal for the people by the people of the people right how are you gonna pay for it bernie how are you going to pay for it right? free stuff free everything is free how are you gonna pay for it bernie how are you gonna pay for it bernie nothing is free bernie how are you going to how are you gonna pay for it bernie that's all they got, man. That's all they got. Is how are you going to pay for it? Uh, we're going to show you how you're going to pay for it, you fucking morons. Uh, Let's make sure everyone can get you know, we should, we should only, we should only uh, you know what we should do? We should have a two-tier system. Anybody who votes for it and sees it clearly uh, that, that health care should be a right in this country and that eliminating student debt, eliminating college debt and all that stuff, getting, putting, putting the burden back on the corporations, anybody who agrees with that should get it. The people who don't agree with it should just continue to get raped by the uh, by the government that they live in. It would end all medical debt in this country. And the bottom line is, it is an insane and cruel system which says to people that they have to go deeply into debt or go bankrupt. Because of what? Because they came down with cancer, or they came down with heart disease, or they came down uh, with Alzheimer's or whatever. So in the midst of a dysfunctional health care system, what we have got to do is say that you cannot go bankrupt. Uh, you cannot end up in financial duress because you got terribly sick. That's cruel, and that is something we've got to end. So okay, you thank you. Thank you. We'll get you the exact, you know, this is something we're working on, and we will introduce. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, the, the good governor, the good senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders proposing, uh, proposing eliminating medical debt in this country. Oh, my God, what a great idea. He didn't have all the details on the, on the money, on the crunch, how you're going to do it, but we can find ways to do that. I'll show you how to do it. Well, let's look at more, right? So Bernie Sanders gets uh, a, a severe, you know, amazing kudos for doing this. So let's see how the fake news is spinning it. Reuters, Bernie Sanders proposes canceling 81 billion U.S. medical debt. That's, I, I believe that's accurate. U.S. presidential can, contender Bernie Sanders proposed a plan on Saturday this weekend to cancel $81 billion in existing past due medical debt for Americans, but offered no details on how it would be financed. Well, we're going to offer some details. You're just going to have to wait for it, man. You're just going to have to fucking wait for it, man. Get used to waiting, man. Bernie Sanders. Going up. <laughs> Sanders, an independent U.S. senator from Vermont, said in a statement that under his plan, the government would negotiate and pay off 
past due medical bills that have been reported to credit, credit agencies. The proposal, he said, would also appeal repeal some elements of the 2005 bankruptcy bill. All right, I got a better idea, Bernie. Listen to this. Bernie, are you listening? Listen to this. That's good, but I got a better idea. Why don't you just pass, you get, you get elected president, right, and then you pass Medicare for all, right? Once you pass Medicare for all, you do this. You take the fucking, the, the, all those, um, those insurance companies with, with, that were all, all, all that money, you say, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Human, it's a human right now. Fuck you. You can't collect on a human right. That's what you do. You stiff them. You don't give them the money. But if you wanted to give them the money, I, we could show you an easy way to do it. That's a very easy way. If you want to be generous and you want to give the cocksuckers that stole all that money from, you know, from sick and dying people in America on the backs of the American people, then we'll, we'll give you the money. But I, I think you should just stiff them, right? So in the United States, in the United States of America, your financial life and future should not be destroyed because you are a member of a... F- uh, you or a member of your family gets sick, said Bernie Sanders. <laughs> that is unacceptable. I am sick and tired of seeing over 500 million Americans declare bankruptcy each year because they can't pay off the, the outrageous cost of a medical emergency or a hospital stay. Ah, uh, Bernie Sanders smacking him, smacking him. Let's see, who else? Ah, the right news. This is right news. Conservative right news. Bernie Sanders, we will eliminate medical debt in this country. Damn right. No, everybody's spending it. Let's see. Bernie Sanders, now running for the Democratic presidential, presidential nomination, told a town hall in South Carolina last Friday that he will soon release his plan to eliminate medical debt in this country. South Carolina woman who said she earns a little, earns too little to enroll in Obamacare asks Sanders, quote, is there anything in your plan that would actually work for people who are drowning right now with their medical debt? Quote, and Bernie, quote, actually, in another piece of legislation there is. I mean, what we are looking at right now, as I said earlier, is half a million people who are going bankrupt and others that are using up their entire life savings to cover the medical bills that they have, have right now. And I gather that's your scenario, he told the woman. So in another piece of legislation that we offer, we will eliminate medical debt in this country. All right, so Bernie Sanders gets amazing, <laughs> amazing credit for proposing it, but Bernie Sanders is not a, is not a, uh, a, a medical guy or a, uh, a budget planner, but the, the, Fact is, there's an easy way to do it. What do you need? 81 billion? Not hard in America. Sanders previ- previews, here's the hill, previews his plan to cancel all past medical debt. What a wonderful idea, you know? I mean, if you're going to eliminate student debt, right? You, if you're going to make college tuition at city and state universities free, then you should naturally, the next step of that is to eliminate the debt that people incurred using that college and tuition, that, that college and that city and state college. If you went there and you accrued this massive debt or any debt at this point, any student debt at this point, then it should be expunged because college tuition is now free. The same should be said, I mean, it's kind of obvious actually, that the same should be said about medical uh, uh, coverage. If, you, if we make Medicare for all free, co- free medical coverage for all Americans, right, cover it. And then people that are still strapped with all this ridiculous debt, paying you know half a million dollars for a for a surgery that costs ninety nine cents, or you know pills and medication, they they rack up a hundred thousand dollars in debt, and meanwhile it only costs fifty bucks. Right? That kind of stuff. Just eliminate the the, uh, the the piracy that has been going on in this country. It makes perfect sense. So where are you going to get the money? Free stuff. It's free. You want free stuff, Bernie bros. Hey, Bernie, nothing is free. Bernie, nothing is free, Bernie. You have to pay for it. Somebody has to pay for it, Bernie. (laughs) 
Well, we're going to show you the paper. I see. <clears throat> so here, let's go into the let's go into the pockets. Let's go into our pockets, our collective pocket, the discretionary spending. Let's look at 2015, for example, where 1.11 trillion dollars were spent out of our tax money, and what what do we spend it on? Let's look. So we'll go around the horn here. So government spending, 72 billion. Education, 70. Medical health, 60. Veterans coverage, 60. Housing, 60 billion. All billions, all with a B. International affairs, billion. Energy, environment, billion. Science, billion. It's 29 billion, 20, 29 billion, 23 billion, 26 billion. Food and agriculture, 13 billion. Wow, we spend less, less on food than we do on... <laughs> We spend less on food than we do on, I don't know, other stuff, man. I, I would think that that, you know, feed your people first. But, but that's just me, right? That's just me. I'm, I'm a communist and a socialist and a, and a liberal. Uh, so military spending, $598 billion, 54% of the fucking discretionary spending goes to line the pockets of the military-industrial complex. Now, if we wanted to eliminate, if we wanted to correct our pie chart just a little bit, if we wanted to correct the pie chart just a little bit, all we'd have to do is stick this, take just even, even in 2015, the, the number is actually uh, 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 projected to be even larger than military industrial complex uh, money. But 54%, let's just say 54% for shits and giggles, goes to military. Five hundred and ninety-eight billion dollars, right? Just shave off the ninety-eight billion and put it over here on the medical and health, right? And boom, you got there. You've eliminated medical debt, and what? You got a couple of less guns. I mean, one, one, one of them fucking. One of those fucking planes is a is a hundred billion dollars, right? Get rid of those fuckers, man. Dump those things, right? What would you rather have? One, one cruise missile. One plane that, that can blow somebody up or, or have a, eliminate medical debt in this country so that people can get out of, you know, out of bankruptcy court and they can, you know, it's so fucking obvious, right? But how are you going to pay for it, man? We don't have any money. We're a very poor nation, right? Well, millions of, well, corporations don't pay a nickel in tax, billions of dollars that they steal, right? And people will complain and call it the cunt faces on Fox News, don't fall for it, people. Don't fall for it. You're falling for this shit. Why? Why do people fall for this fucking bullshit? Right. Here, here's the Trump discretionary spending request, 2003, 2023. So Trump is already requesting for 2023 to advance the military spending. They already got this. $726 billion fucking dollars. $726 billion, 65% of all our, our, our discretionary spending goes to bombs and planes, a war machine, to make war. Rather than take care of our people and give them college tuition and, and, and food and uh, eliminate their, their, their medical debt and give them to elevate the people of this country, to stimulate our great nation from the bottom up by giving, by giving to the people, providing the things that they need so that they can be, they can be uh, prosperous and free and innovative and start new businesses and be, you know, be, be great Americans to, to, you know, to elevate the country. Right? That's what it's all about. But look, so how, how are you going to pay for it? Say, let's say it the last time. Free stuff, how are you going to pay for it, Bernie? How are you going to pay for it? Say, how are you going to pay for it, Bernie? Free. You want free stuff. You're a socialist. You're a commie little socialist, Bernie Sanders. Commie little socialist. Free stuff. So I just showed you how you can pay for it. I just showed you how you can pay for it. Right? So there's a lot of ways to pay for it. So Bernie Sanders, thank you very much, Bernie Sanders. Very good senator from, from Vermont running for the president of the United States. He tried in 2016. The Democratic Party stuck a knife in his back. Hillary Clinton fucked his ass. And he turned around and fucked Hillary Clinton's ass and sucked Hillary Clinton's dick and all that stuff, right? We know. He sold out. He's a, he's a, he's a commie. He sold out, right? He has three houses in the, in the, you know, wherever, right? He's got one up his ass. He's got two in his, in his dick. And so who cares, right? The guy is, is coming through with policy. How could you compare 
what Trump is saying. We're going to get the Republicans at a party of, of health care, right? And there's nothing. There's absolutely fucking nothing for the people. And, and here's the good senator running for president of the United States. And all you can say is, all you can come up with is, free stuff. Marcus Carthy reporting.